After consulting the scales and reaching a consensus, House Walfort resolved to shelter Prince Roland. Not long after, they find themselves besieged by an elite subset of Esfrost's forces. Commanding the Duchy's armies is none other than General of Laura, the deadly warrior who claimed the lives of Prince Franny and Sir Maxwell with her own hands. Pardon the intrusion, Your Grace. A bird has arrived from House Wolfort. Concerning Prince Roland, no doubt. Hmm. So they refused to relinquish him to us. How intriguing. They will remain loyal to the royal family even if it means their demise. Very well. Send a bird to General of Laura. Tell her to make for the Wolfort Domain at once, and that she is to return with the Prince, or not at all. Yes, Your Excellency. Eh bien bonjour à tous, j'espère que ça va pour vous. Donc aujourd'hui, nouvelle vidéo sur euh, Triangle Strategy. Donc on reprend exactement le chapitre 7, mais cette fois-ci avec l'acte 2. Donc euh, bah, j'ai pas avancé par rapport à la dernière fois, hein, comme vous avez pu le voir. Donc on va commencer tout de suite par les petits dialogues annexes, histoire de rien louper. Et puis on continuera l'histoire principale juste après. Ah, Lord Tellior, there you are. Yes, what is it? Tidings from Whiteholm, my lord. House Wolfort shelters Prince Roland within their domain and refuses to acquiesce to S. Frost's demands. What's this? Those fools would stand in defiance against the Duchy. The Archduke's forces move against the Wolforts as we speak. They intend to capture Prince Roland and bring down House Wolfort in one fell swoop. Hmm. House Wolfort is strong, but not strong enough for a full-on attack from the Duchy's forces. <sighs> and yet, there is always the chance, however slim, that they will prevail. Best wait and see how the situation unfolds. Yes, there is no need to rush into anything. We must consider carefully what will afford us the best chance of survival. Continue to keep your eye on the other domains. I must know of any movement among the wolf forts and the fox, no matter how inconsequential. Yes, my lord. So they would rather die than bend the knee? Wolfort truly is a house of fools. At least Avlora will have the chance to prove herself on the battlefield. That's why we took her in, no? She'll prove useful yet. For her own sake, I would hope so. Once we bring down the highest of the three high houses, what do you suppose will become of the other two? <laughs> I should think the answer obvious, dear sister. The cowardly Tellyors will be at our beck and call. The Falks, too stubbornly loyal for their own good, will not. House Falks presides over bountiful lands. 
Now, do you suppose brother will pass up the chance to claim such a tantalizing prize? Indeed not, brother dear. <laughs> You are aware that Prince Roland fled to the Wolfert Domain after the Crown City fell. As Frost demanded that His Highness be relinquished to their custody immediately. We have just received word that Wolfert refused. A most admirable display of loyalty to Glenbrook's royal family if ever I have seen one. And they are not the only ones who shall remain true. In the name of King Regna, House Fox II will take up arms against those as frosty bastards. For we are one of the three high houses of Glenbrook. We will live up to that name and fight for our homeland with our lives. Aye! May your shields be strong and your sword strike true, my countrymen. For Glenbrook! Oh, oh! Parti en cacahuète là. Là, on est encerclé, de toute façon. Avlora? Are you certain? Yes. We are surrounded by the Archduke's main forces, led by General Avlora herself. She killed my brother and my master. I must avenge them, even if it means my life. Your Highness. Your life is far too important to so blithely throw away. I know that, and yet... Facing the Asfrosty forces head-on is a fool's errand. They will drive us back with ease. Let us consider another strategy. As a matter of fact, there is more to this town than meets the eye. It is a secret which, under normal circumstances, would be divulged to a new lord only after their succession is made official. But desperate times. I sent a man just now to make preparations. Come with me. We haven't much time. I would hear more of your plan, Benedict. They say Castle Wolfort was built into a mountainside. Am I to believe there are yet more secrets concealed in its construction? Just so. As it happens, 
A contrivance of sorts was installed in the town to be used only in cases of dire emergency. What manner of contrivance? I've never heard such a thing. You wouldn't have. The information is divulged only to the Lord of the House and his closest advisors. It is a secret, one that embodies this town's true worth. I see. Then what, pray tell, is this town's true worth? The towering walls that rise up in all directions, the network of sloped waterways. This town appears as any other to my eye, but perhaps my gaze is untrained. It is the canals we will use. We shall pour flaming oil into them from above and burn our enemy out. What in the... Benedict, have you gone mad? Do you see those hawk sculptures located throughout the town? I do. They are the means by which the weapon may be activated, I presume. Indeed. Tearing them down will trigger a barrier to rise around the canals. After that, no one will be able to get in or out until the blaze subsides. You would burn people's homes. No, the very town itself, along with our foes. But just think of the lives that may be sacrificed. This is the path we have chosen. There's little choice left to us if we wish to survive. We must win, whatever the cost. Prepare for battle. Et ouais, c'est ça la guerre. Ah, qu'est-ce qu'il nous manque la dernière fois Ouais d'accord. Il n'y a pas intérêt à se trouver dedans. 
Il va se trouver ici. Il y a trois pièges sur la zone. C'est bien qu'on s'en serve pas, mais on ne sait pas ce qui, ce qui va nous arriver. Là. S'il y a beaucoup, beaucoup d'ennemis, bah on le fera de toute façon. Fare you, Benedict. My preparations are complete. I trust you're ready as well, my lord? As ready as I shall ever be. We have given ourselves every advantage that we can, my lord. Indeed we have. I only hope that it is enough. My lord! The yes, frosty forces are on the move. So it begins. Our foe advances. Take up your positions, everyone, and be ready for the signal. Shall we, my lord? Yes, it is time. Ça va être chaud quand même. Regardez ce que c'est lui. How fortunate this humble merchant is to look upon such beauty. Nothing would do Lionel greater honor than to see his powders and perfumes adorn your divine visages. Such honor, in fact, that he is willing to part with him for practically nothing at all. We haven't even coined for salt, let alone vanity. Mines are not but your ledgers. You peddlers disgust me. Well met, brave protectors of the realm. Lionel has brought everything a hero needs and more. Every item has undergone meticulous testing to ensure that they will serve you well on the battlefield. Out of our way, junkmonger. We've important duties to attend to. How rude. Where are the smiles and open coin purses the people used to greet Lionel with? Well, perhaps Lionel should take his goods elsewhere. War has made this place disagreeable. However... It is the perfect opportunity for the shrewd trader to amass his fortune. And Lionel is shrewd, if nothing else. My lord, that merchant who peddles his wares in our encampment has requested an audience. Uh, yes, let him come forth. You do Lionel a great honor, my lord. A great honor. That he can count House Wolfort among his loyal patrons has ever been a source of pride. Yes, right. 
what brings you before me today? As my lord is doubtless already aware, war places a heavy burden on the treasury. A burden that only grows heavier as time drags on. However, a skilled negotiator can see his coffers even fuller at war's end than they were at its beginning. If he may be so bold, Lionel would offer his services in that very capacity. Uh. He understands your precarious position, trapped between two ravenous wolves. In such times, one can never have enough coin and resources to stave off what may come. Surely you agree? Your words have merit, and you have always been honest in your dealings with my house. I see no reason not to welcome you into our ranks. Splendid! You are as wise as they say. Wiser, even. Lionel shall not disappoint. Just the opposite, in fact. From this day until his very last, he shall stake his honor on the prosperity of your house. It is bizarre. And if his own coin purse should grow fat in the process, who could blame him? Is he going to bring us the good? Ok, c'est tellement relou qu'il va, qu va perturber les autres. Bah c'est parti pour la grande bataille. Hein. The battlefield is no place for children. I will have vengeance for my family and for my master. Prepare to die. Empty threats from a pampered prince. You will see what true might is. All's in place, my lord. Ready when you are. Very good. Now, to lure them where we want them and initiate the device. You are aware of what will happen next, yes? Yes. And I am prepared to make the sacrifice. With me, every... All companies, advance! Leave no survivors! comme ça de qui Aïe, leave it to me. On deux soigneuses hein.
leur anticiper. Il y a quand même du peuple. Hein. À mon avis, il n'y aura pas que ça. C'est sûr, comme d'hab. Enemy reinforcements are past the outer wall. Follow General of Laura. The town is surrounded, and enemies flood in by the moment. We knew getting into this that we'd be outnumbered, but victory's still in the cards if we're smart. I cannot bear the thought of sacrificing my people. Have Laura mark my words. Flee while you have the chance. Time to work. Là, on va dissimuler. Then where shall we strike? There is no mercy on the battlefield. We must stay vigilant. For the honor of House Wolfort. Tu pas mal quand même. So House Wolfwood would set their own home up. To lead, I must grow. Ow. Did we General of Laura, the second regiment has arrived. Forward! Leave no trace! Quail not at their numbers! Let's go then. The deuxième script. On reste là-haut ou pas Cool heads shall prevail.
I'll take it from here. I will crush you! I use this. For the honor of House Wolfort. Come at me! Push on through! Shall we begin? Make the most of this. I'll take it from here. I see a path to victory. the future of House Wolfort. Flee while you have the chance. I won't lose! Face me if you dare. Again? Yeah. Ah. Victory is not yet out of reach. Stay composed. Flee while you have the chance.
On va les attirer tout doucement. Je pense que c'est la meilleure solution. For victory. Là, ça attaque. Ouais, qu'on circule tous. Là. Death from above. Face me if you dare. Cool heads shall prevail. Ready. C'est où la limite ouais, On est vraiment tout juste. You won't beat me. Parce qu'il va prendre super cher. Victory is not yet out of reach. C'est un petit île. Now. I shall do what I can. Forward. Ah! Then meet Sela. C'était 
sûr qu'elle a avoir encore du monde. The third regiment has arrived. To think we need to deploy all our forces. You are strike while the iron's hot. This is far from over. Ready for more. I've been waiting for this. Away! You have the chance. I must find a way. All for victory. The hunt is on. to my last breath. Ça fait mal, hein? I won't lose. Regardez la limite. La limite, c'est nous. Brace yourself. Oh, j'ai un. Oh là, une boulette là. Leave everything to me. What are you and your cups about? This will be of great use. For the honor of House Wolfort. Wait your turn. Whatever it takes. I will end this. Ready? 
I'll take you on! I see a path to victory. A brief rest. Our victory is assured. This battle is ours. This ends now! May fortune favor us. My turn. I won't lose! To work. I strike true. Shall we begin? Allow me. My apologies. Leave everything to me. Qui est pas dedans, la bosse est là-dedans. My turn. Strike while the iron's hot. This is far. Do my best. I will follow you faithfully till the end. Come at me. Look to my shield. I love the battle. My turn. This battle is ours. Have we no choice but to retreat? Master, we prevailed. Dégommer direct comme ça Mais c'est trop cool. Victory is within our grasp. There is no mercy on the battlefield.
Let us feel our defenses. For victory! Rien de brûlé. Leave everything to me. What are you and your cups about? Stuff. We doing this? Let me heal your wounds. Be at ease. Thank you, friend. With clear eyes, I move forward. is within reach. Sound strike. Defeat is not an option. Now I end this. I'll take it from here. Can do you this. have my thanks. Come at me. Charge. Time to take flight. I see a path to victory. On, then. Let's go then. Trying something new. I shall do what I can. I will end this. Time to take action. Enough! This battle is ours. Yeah! You won't beat me! Let us pry out their weakness. Now it's my turn. This might sting some. Well, congratulations are in order. Eh bien, c'était cool ces petites bagarres là, c'était cool. J'ai bien aimé. Bon après, j'espère qu'avec les villageois, ça va pas causer de, de problèmes dans la suite de l'histoire. Je sais pas. Ça va bien. Que tous les choix ont une importance, donc euh...
The mad bastards. To think they would set their own people's homes ablaze. Retreat! All companies withdraw at once! Victory is ours. Though both sides suffer great losses on the battlefield, in the end, it is House Wolfort that triumphs. The vanquished General of Vlora is forced to retreat to Castle Whiteholm, with the Esfrosty army in tow. I have no words to excuse my failure, Your Grace. I underestimated the Woolfort army. It will not happen again. Indeed, it will not. I will accept no apology for your incompetence, save victory. The Woolforts may have gotten the better of us this time, but it came at a cost. We must strike again before they can regroup. Rest yourself of Laura. I will have need of you yet, and soon. I shall not disappoint you again, Your Grace. You have my word. And you will keep it. Nothing and no one will stand in my way. To be quite frank, I underestimated House Woolfort's strength. To think they were capable of driving off the S. Frosty army forces like that. I suspect the outcome came as a surprise to the Archduke as well. And yet, something tells me Woolfort's victory is more than a fluke. I shall keep that in mind. Still... This development is to our advantage. This will only make it easier to carry out our plans. Just so, Your Excellency. Everything is proceeding as you anticipated. Yes. We shall have our way. It is but a matter of time. House Warfort triumphed? Yes, my lord. The Archduke's army has already withdrawn to the Crown City. That said, it would seem the Wolfort army suffered significant casualties. Did it now? It is not as if I entirely failed to consider the possibility of an Esfrasi defeat. And yet, it is hardly an ideal development. Whatever are we to do now? Wolfort may have won the battle, but can they win the war? Hmm. My lord? Ready a bird. I have a missive that needs sending. As you command.
I bring good news, my lord. Esfrost army marched on Castle Walford in an attempt to seize the prince, but they were roundly defeated by House Walford's forces and retreat to the Crown City as we speak. Joyous tidings indeed. I knew the Wolferts wouldn't let us down. I'm also pleased to report that Prince Roland is unscathed. It would seem young Sarah Noah is more than capable of carrying on Lord Simon's legacy. Triumph as they did, they still suffered considerable casualties in the battle. It is more than likely that Esfrost is already preparing for a second attack. Very well. Take stock of our own forces and determine how many men we can send to House Wolfert's aid while retaining enough for our own protection. Yes, my lord. It is time to take a stand. If the three high houses come together as one, I am certain we will prevail. I shall see to the wounded. I will help as well. My hawk can assist with clearing the rubble. My thanks to you both. Your aid is most welcome. I am ready. Go safely, Anna, and give my best to the others. We take a risk in entreating a powerful nation for aid. I need you to determine to what extent we can rely on them, if at all. Leave it to me. I've sent Anna to the holy state of Hyzant. Our alliance may not be what it once was, but we must seek help wherever it may be found. In a perfect world, we would be able to count on the cooperation of our neighbors here. Indeed, unity within Glenbrook is of the utmost priority, especially now that we've ensured Prince Roland's safety. And yet, we cannot count on houses Tellior and Falks to act in our best interests. We must prepare ourselves for every contingency. You are right, as always, Benedict. We've taken the first step down our chosen path, but there is no telling what awaits us. Do you have a moment, Your Highness? Oh, it's you. As silly as it may sound, I've never truly understood what it meant to be royalty. Does my life carry more weight simply because of the blood in my veins? So much so that the lives of others must be sacrificed in my name? You need not worry about that, Roland. Lord Wolfort speaks true. The scales of conviction guided us, but this decision was ours. We have chosen to walk this path with you. I was born the second prince. No one expected great things of me. And yet, simply because I had the good luck to survive, my very existence now necessitates all these sacrifices. If I may be so bold, it was not luck, your highness. We protected you. <laughs> I know this, of course. That's what makes this so hard. You all fought and continue to fight for me. And I could scarcely take care of myself. I need to become stronger. I must. For my own sake and for yours.
Eh bien, eh bien. Bon, bah c'était cool comme épisode. Je sais pas ce que vous en avez pensé. Dites-moi-le dans les commentaires si vous avez, euh, vous avez apprécié. Donc on va s'arrêter là pour cette vidéo. J'espère qu'elle vous aura plu. Moi, je vous dis à très très vite pour la suite. Et puis, bah voilà, hein, comme d'habitude, n'oubliez pas, si vous voulez m'aider, petit pouce bleu, un petit commentaire. Et pourquoi pas vous abonner à la chaîne. Ça me permettra de me faire avancer sur YouTube. Allez, ciao, ciao. À bientôt.